Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this video, I am gonna show you how we can build an RFID based dual lock security system using Arduino RC52 RFID module and solenoid dual lock. So here is the demo for this project. When a non card is scanned, the door will lock automatically. When an unknown card is scanned, it will give you a siren indicating the card is not found. So, Let's begin with this project. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCB designing task, you can share your project over the web for review purpose, interact with mechanical design engineer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with the component management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. So this is the block diagram of the project. So we are using an Arduino nano board here. So it is supplied with a 12 volt power supply. And then we have an RFID reader as an input and the outputs are LCD display, LED, buzzer, relay and solenoid lock. These all are connected to a Arduino board. On the basis of block diagram, I designed an schematic. I have used Arduino nano here. You may use Arduino Uno board. An I2C LC display is connected to I2C pins. Two LEDs which are red LED, green LED. And a buzzer and a relay. These are controlled via digital pins. An RFID RC52 is connected to SPI pin. And to power this entire circuit, I have used a 12 volt external power supply. The 12 volt is fed to the input of 7805, which then gives an output of 5 volt. The 5 volt is fed to the relay. The relay is connected to the 12 volt solenoid locks, which energizes it and turns on and off. On the basis of this diagram, you can assemble the circuit on a breadboard. So let's begin the assembly. So here is our circuit assembly. This is an Arduino nano board, which is the central controller of this entire project. This is RFID RC522 connected to the SPI pin of Arduino. Then we have a passive buzzer, a pair of LED, there is green LED and a red LED, which are connected to the digital pin using a 330 ohm register. And then we have an I2C LCD display, which is connected to the I2C pins. A 5 volt relay controlled by a digital pin of Arduino is used to control the solenoid lock. The solenoid lock is powered by 12 volt power supply and then we have a 7805 voltage regulator IC with a 100 microfarad capacitor for voltage stability as we are supplying power from the external source. So that's the assembly uh, based on the circuit that I provided you earlier. Let's take a look at the code part of this project. So we have an RFID library and then a pitches header file. So when you go to the pitches file, uh, you can see a uh, various tones that is used for generating a uh, buzzer sound. You can get this file from our website article and you can create a new file and save it as a name called pitches.h. So we have defined SPI pins here and initialize LCD. So the various melodies are created on the basis of node duration. Under the setup section, we have initialized LEDs, buzzer and all other details. In the loop section, we are just scanning the cards. 
if the card found is uh, matched then the door should unlock in case if it is not matched it will not unlock the door all the codes has been written properly and you can go through the each and every line now from the tools menu you can select the arduino nano board and then the com port and then hit this upload button to upload the code now let us see the working of the project so i have few of these rfid cards here so i will be scanning all this rfid card now one of the card is here is the master card it means using this uh, rfid keychain only the door will be unlocked else the door won't be locked so uh, where did i save the info of this rfid card so i will show you first so when i scan the card so here you can see a unique number is generated here now what you can do is you can go to the coding part and replace this unique id with this number and then upload the code let's test the working while well, scanning this card the card is found and it will show the in the lcd welcome to your room so the door has been unlocked now it will give you a 10 second timers to unlock the door after 10 seconds the door will lock again what if we scan the unknown cards in this case the buzzer will just produce a warning sound and the led will glow and the door won't be unlocked so that's the basic demonstration how this project work the complete details of this project including the diagram circuit schematics codes explanation block diagram and whatever you want is provided in the article you can go through this article and comment down in case you have any questions thank you so much for watching see you in the next video